In this lesson, we are going to see how to design a photovoltaic plant for an industrial building. In particular, we are going to see how to upload the area from Google Maps. So we are going to upload a raster image that represents the specific location directly from Maps. Let's see how to do it. Click on the reference menu from the upper toolbar. 2D graphics and then choose raster image. Click on the window. We can choose the reference path to upload the image. So select the image and now we have a raster image. Now we want to design the plant into this area here. So let's see together the software potential. First of all, I can select the image and I can rotate it. Push on rotate, click on the first point and then the second reference point. Then you can confirm rotation. I can also scale the image because what I find here are Google Map measurements. So click on first point and to the second one. Now I can write the correct dimension. Here is 53.8 meter. And then I obtain the scaled image. So now I have the correct dimension. It's obviously depend on the precision quote. Well, now what I have to do, I go to the menu, as we see into the previous lesson, and I can use the generic volume command. So I click on the image. And when I finish, I can click on finish. What it draw, if you go to the 3D view, it represents the volume, the generic volume to use that I can modify. I can change the height, 18 meter in this case. So now we have to draw the inclined surface. So open the menu, select the inclined surface, start to trace the surface point by point and apply. Now I am in the editor where here I also see the Google Maps images reference. So click on the icon surface and I can draw the effective area for the photovoltaic plant. Now I select the surface and I need to set the inclination. I can choose through three points, for example. So P1 is here, P2 is the other vertex, and P3 is that is here. So now I can change the height and I can do it directly in the 3D view. For example, the P1 height is 21 meter. So I know the inclination. Then I can use the vertical enclosure. I trace it and I close. Then I can adapt to the inclination. So I'm modeling the surface that I see in the Google Maps image. So done this operation, I can assign properties. For example, I can set the colors to the solid. So I can also see better the solid. And now I can design the photovoltaic plant. 
so I designed the plan thanks to the design photovoltaic field. I can choose the arrangement, horizontal or vertical. I select the horizontal and maximum power criteria, so the maximum area. Here I'm installing 596 modules. I obtained the reference point. So now we can study the plant from an image taken by Google Maps.